And earlier tonight, the Utica Blue Sox have been on a bit of a cold streak as of late, losing first place in their division in the PGCBL West Division. They'll take on a team that has done almost the opposite recently. The Mohawk Valley Diamond Dogs come into town 9-3 and three in their last 12 games, including two wins over the Blue Sox in that span. Go to the highlights, starting off in the first, and it's a hot start for the Blue Sox. Dewey Roden, the VVS grad, puts one through the middle to drive in a run, so it will be Utica taking an early lead. But Coastal Carolina freshman Darren Horn, he's on the mound for Mohawk Valley, gets the fly out, so it's just one run for the first in the first for the home squad. So now we move to the top of the second inning. The Diamond Dogs trying to get one back. Alfredo Delgado singles, and then immediately after him, Noah Lucier singles as well. So two runners on, and Brady Fiorino is going to step up and rip one down the third base line, and it'll be all knotted up at one run apiece as Delgado rounds third, comes home to score, as we see that right there. Then, bottom of the second inning, Utica will answer that run and take the lead back. Avery Lee legs out an infield single, two outs on the board there, so he had to get to first, but the run will count. Utica takes the lead back. Mohawk Valley tries to even it up again in the third. Base is loaded for Mohawk Valley, and a big bat at the plate in Garrett Musi, a PGCBL leading nine home runs for him so far this year. He gets just under that ball, it's caught, and the opportunity is lost in the third. Musi would get revenge later in the game, though. A bases loaded, bases clearing double that put the dogs up 7-2 to two as part of a six-run sixth inning. Mohawk Valley comes back in this one to take the victory. The final score, 11-2. to two.